Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Alex and this is Austin. Hey guys. And today we're on a boat because we have the Splash Drone. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that was very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right guys, uh, here oh. goes nothing. Oh jeez. Yeah, all right. So. <laughs> you did it, dude. <laughs> so, lesson number one: oh my raise gosh. everything out of the water before you start going into forward <laughs> flight because that did a little cartwheel, and uh, yeah, we're took, good. Took you like a, took it like a champ. It's like you look like you meant to do that. I'll be honest. It's a tricks episode. <laughs> but the first thing I noticed, if you look at the thing right now, I mean, it is locked. So yeah. how, we have. Uh, looks at 14 satellites right now for GPS, and this does not use any kind of downward positioning system like a lot of its uh, similar drones like the Phantom and all those other drones which aren't waterproof. Um, this is just straight GPS, and we've flown a lot of uh, just straight GPS drones over the years, and normally there's like a loiter uh, radius that's like 10 feet, and it'll hold coordinates uh, within like a 10 foot radius. This thing is locked. Like it looks really, really good out there. Well, one of the features of uh, of the Splash Drone, because this is the third version, so they've had a few iterations already, is they redesigned the flight controller. Um, and actually, it's all their own. Yeah, it's all their own. They actually, they redesigned the power systems. They redesigned the flight controller. Actually, this handheld controller is new, um, which actually I really like. And it has a built-in screen. So the camera actually records at up to 4K, which is pretty impressive. And we'll let you guys be the judge of the footage. We haven't obviously seen it yet. This is our first time flying it. So this is kind of like a first impression. Um, and right off the bat, I'm pretty, pretty impressed. Something that you don't really get a sense of just by looking at a video of it is it's a pretty substantial drone. It's girthy. Like, I mean, it's got some serious weight. That's why I was hesitant to just dump it in the water like that. It's got some really like good sized, nice motors on them, a good sized hand. And uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a really good sized quadcopter, which I didn't expect getting it out of the box. All right, I gotta try it. Let me, right, let go me for take it. a take it for a spin. Yeah, yeah something that's a little bit different about this is that it has like horizon correction in it on the scroll wheel. So I don't, I don't see that too much in gimbals. No, it, my guess is so you can correct for it on the fly. Something that I think Alex would agree with, we've both done a lot of flying of aerial cinematography platforms over water. And it is very nerve-wracking. It's extremely nerve-wracking. Because it's a lot of money, it's right over the water. It adds a whole nother element. Because if your battery gets low, or if you have a malfunction of any kind, you're basically saying goodbye to it. And so having that flexibility actually is really nice. A lot of the performance specs, I would never expect it to amount to something like a Phantom or a Mavic, because you're not getting the waterproof functionality out of those. Right. Um, so obviously you're going to be sacrificing a little bit of performance as far as flight time, overall maneuverability, because it is such a bigger quad and it has a lot more weight on it. The battery size is 4S 5200, and it has a decent flight time. It says 16 minutes. Yeah, which is honestly pretty impressive. That's yeah, not bad. So this is the type of things right here that normally would be very nerve wracking to do. I'm pretty far out. I'd dunk say I'm, it, dunk I'd say I'm it, like 200 feet away it. and I'm pretty low to the ground. <laughs> and let's see, see how well it holds its altitude doing some just low cruising. <laughs> dunk it. Look how low, it. dude, that's so cool. And I, I'm really so cool. low and you don't even have to worry about it. That's super cool. And something that, uh, is important to note is that you're not getting a full HD downlink. This is an analog signal that you're getting back. So you're not seeing, you know, what the final product is. This actually shoots in 4K, 25 frames a second. Um, but you're just not what you're seeing on the screen. You're seeing more of an analog signal, which allows you to frame up your shot and it's very low latency. But again, it's not, you're not getting the experience of what you're gonna review later. And one thing that I, that I saw too is that the gimbal motors are like super duty, like industrial strength. And the reason why is so when you dunk it underwater, it's gonna do a better job at stabilizing the footage even when you're underwater. Now obviously we're in a lake here in Ohio, um, so the visibility underwater isn't great. But let's just dunk it down there because the camera, the full gimbal system is completely waterproof. So we'll just dunk it down, see how it goes. Dunk it. All right, you ready? Dunk it. It just doesn't look right. I can see underwater right now. There's not much going on under there. Is there any fish? No, no fish. Now, let's see here. I saw in the promotional video they were doing some... <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, it, it likes it. It's like a little amphibious quad. 
Yeah, something that I noticed in some of their promotion they talked about is that water, especially water that's clear, um, you can technically use this as kind of like a drone snorkel. Like you can go kind of drive around while the camera is underwater and kind of see what's under there. The gimbal, they upgraded the gimbal motors so you actually can have that full stabilization and functionality with the tilt underwater. Um, they beefed up the, the gimbal for that reason. Dude, this is crazy. So like flying the drone around, it, it flies and performs really well. It's a nice little AP platform, but like when you are able to dunk it in the water like that, that's like, obviously I haven't ever experienced anything like that. Um, I would imagine you could get, you could do all kinds of crazy adventures with this thing. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the waves. So what does this compare to? Really nothing. I mean, nothing. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything like this. I have seen some DIY waterproof quads made, um, to, but nothing that's ready to fly out of the box like this. Typically we like to do some comparisons when we do, you know, overviews like this. And there's not a whole lot out there to compare it to that has the water, you know, proof functionality flight wise. It flies, flies a lot like a Blade Chroma or flies a lot like a Phantom 3. You know, it just has, you know, pretty docile flight characteristics. Yes. It does exactly what you'd expect it to do. Yeah, I didn't fly the V2, but I like whatever changes they made to the flight controller. It's super solid. Even it flies well, yeah. And the GPS is what I was most impressed with. Yeah. It it locks in pretty darn well for for not having any vision positioning uh, system on it. Good. Can I dunk it again? Yeah, on, let me do again. it one more time. <laughs> I could just do that with it all day. It's, it's like FPV jumping off the diving board. Obviously this is all like semi-autonomous, but just to give you an idea, I'll level off right here. And right, this right here is maximum punch out. Dun, 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 dun. So nothing crazy, but honestly pretty respectable for how heavy of a, of a quad this is. And then this is full descent. Obviously this is uh, controlled descent. It's just like a Phantom. So this, just like your, uh, your DJI quads, this throttle stick is centered. It automatically centers. It's not a throttle control. It's actually more of an altitude control. All right, you gotta try dunking it. Uh, real quick before I dunk it, which I'm really excited to do, I figured to talk a little bit about the transmitter. So there's a couple of different modes here. There's GPS, there's smart cruise, and there's Addy mode. Um, there's also normal and return to home mode there. So it does have return to home feature, which we have and probably won't test today. Right now we're in video mode. So when you have this toggle flipped up, it's recording. And then in preview mode, you're just watching the screen. And then when you flick it into photo, it takes the photos. Um, this is a feature we'll be talking about here in a little bit. This is your airdrop feature. This is where we'll actually be dropping some fishing lines. One of the other cool things too that you can do with this is you can actually attach a small flotation device and bring it and deliver it. It'll release whatever you put on there. So you can actually use flotation device and actually use this to save people's lives. All right, I'm gonna dunk it. What happens if you like full speed dunk it? Like a high speed yeah. dunk? You ready? Dunk it, dunk it. <laughs> 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 Dude, the, I, so, the something gimbal very, didn't was locked. I don't think it moved at all. There's something very satisfying about that. It's just a flying drone. Also, <laughs> it just like makes this splatter noise. Oh, that's awesome. There's something really gratifying about that. There is. And I have a feeling like this lake. We're in a small lake here in Ohio, Lake Mohawk. This is a lake community. Tons of people live here on a lake, and I think that would be the type of person who would really benefit from this. Yeah. Even more so than like a Phantom or something like that, because they can take it out on the boat. They can fly it from their dock over the water and not have to worry about it. Absolutely, water sports is the application for this. I mean, you just don't have to worry when you're flying it, and you can get all the same cool shots you'd get with any other platform. So, speaking of who this is for, uh, this also came with a different camera attachment. Yes. You wanna talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so this has a separate camera attachment designed specifically for fishing. And for those of you who haven't checked it out, um, maybe we can play some B-roll right now of some really cool channels that have been doing some amazing things with drones in the fishing realm. Um, specifically over uh, like deep sea fishing, people out on the ocean. What they do is they take their lure, attach it to the drone while it's still connected to the fishing pole and take it out over the ocean and they can look down and look for schools of fish. And then once they see one, they can hover right over the school of fish and drop the, the lure right into that school of fish. It makes for a more expedited fishing experience to say the least. Um, so we have the attachment. We're gonna try to do some fishing right now. Okay, so we got the fishing attachment attached. The gimbal is taken off. It's actually a pretty cool little design here. It's a quick yeah. release. You just undo the one pin, pop it in there, plug it into the same input, which is also waterproof, and boom, you got a quick release system. Like and the camera also swivels. 
So yeah, you can swivel the camera any which way you want. Uh, we're gonna go straight down. I think that's kind of the point, especially maybe not so much on a lake, but when you have clear water like in the ocean, uh, you can actually see fish from the air. None of us are experts at fishing, so we figured we'd bring in an expert, our resident expert. His name is Jeremy. <laughs> not Jeremy Wade, but he does have a River Monster Edition fishing pole. And we're gonna do some fishing. So I'm gonna switch Jeremy because he's running camera right now. <laughs> I'll give you this, you take that. And just like any fishing trip, we start off with a tangled line. <laughs> <laughs> As is customary. Okay, so we have a very, very light jig on here, which we can't throw very far. So this will be nice. We'll see how far we can take it out and then uh, fish for quite a distance before. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna fly this thing over there, but <laughs> I don't really know. You're the fishing guy, so what do you just put it in there? Yeah. Say when. When. All right, Watch we got it. Fingies. And you want to have your bale open so the line is able to go out because I don't think you want to pull the drone down with your rod. That would be a bad day. Would it be amazing if we caught something right now on camera? It would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How much bait can I normally do? Uh, this is designed to carry uh, two pounds of bait. That's a whole lot of bait. That's like that's, deep sea fishing bait. Yeah, that's bait. like catching like tuna. Hooray! Good luck. I'm gonna go way out there. Bye. Don't do anything crazy. Bye. Look at that. You better stop. 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 stop, stop. stop. Wait, drone. <laughs> Come back. Wait, I'll drop it. Dropping. Commence. All right, I dropped it. Okay. Did you run out of line? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now let's see if I can catch something. Uh, just a crazy success, guys. <laughs> I think we're gonna catch a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Easy killer. Yeah. Yeah. I had a nibble. <laughs> I'm still reeling it in. I got quite a bit of line out there. You, know, you used all of your line. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I would have laughed if it would have pulled you into the water. <laughs> You caught it! Drone, you caught a fish right now. Drone, why you go away? Whoa! <laughs> hey, if you catch a fish, we'll never make another episode again. We'll end the flight test here. Did you catch one, dude? <laughs> you didn't I, catch I don't know. Did you see the rod tip yeah. jumping? That, that was a hit. Yeah, I, I have a fish. No. <laughs> No, stop yeah, it. Yeah, I have a fish. Stop it, you don't have a fish. I have a fish. Stop you it. You see that fish right there? <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 Look at that monster yes! bluegill! Ever! That is a monster Best bluegill! Best day ever! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. Oh, Absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> well, man, we did it. <laughs> yes, we did. I don't think, I think we should probably end it here because it's not yeah, going to get, get any better. It's not going to get any better than this. <laughs> well, guys, we want to thank you for watching. We want to thank uh, uh, Swell Pro. We want to thank uh, Splash Drum for sending this to us to play with. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, check the link below. This is available now. The Kickstarter uh, was a huge success, but it is over now. Uh, but I believe they're going to be shipping these in August. So check the link below. We'll get you guys hooked up. Thanks Catch for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time. Flight test. Do we have a fishing wrap? Did you catch one, dude? You didn't I, I don't know. Did you see the rod tip yeah. jumping? That that was a hit. Yeah, I, I have a fish. No. <laughs> no, stop. Yeah, I have a fish. <laughs> stop it. You don't have a fish. I have a fish. Stop you it. You see that fish right there? <laughs> 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 yes! Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> this could be you. <laughs> Buy this. <laughs>